painted in 1958, Pope Without is one of the great paintings that Francis Bacon painted in Tangiers. Forming part of his celebrated papal portrait series, Pope with Owls is positioned at a critical juncture in the evolution of the artist's interrogations into one of the most recognizable subjects in his earth. and powerful work by Georgia O'Keeffe. In 1939, O'Keeffe traveled to Hawaii to paint. She stayed for nine weeks and it ended up being a transformative experience that inspired some of the most visually striking paintings of her career. You can see her passion for the natural world and the flower's monumental presence set against the brilliant sea and sky. in the final year of Joan Mitchell's career, this work is an embodiment of the remarkable vitality of the artist's late paintings. Like the best of her work, it evokes landscapes, and trees, and bodies of water without being direct representations of them. The painting has an immediacy and directness of the large-scale pastels. Only in works like these, they're realized on a heroic scale. The great Basquiat, untitled, was painted in 1984, a pivotal year for Jean-Michel. Though it retains the raw found object aspect of his earlier work, it is also a symbolic totem which seamlessly blends painting, sculpture and spirituality in a visually beautiful form.